Hi everyone, Kim Adams here. Back to talk to you about decluttering or detoxing your life and mind. So in the last video I focused on how important it is to actually create physical space around you to get rid of the stuff that you no longer need. And so many of us accumulate things and end up not only with the physical overcrowding, but that overcrowding in our space creates overcrowding in our energy and in our mind. And it is so liberating to be able to get rid of stuff you no longer need. So once you've created that space by selling stuff, giving it away to charity or friends or just throwing it away, it really does give you that sense of a freedom. It's quite a liberating feeling. So the thing I wanted to talk about today is decluttering your mind. Now, if you're like me and most people, we spend way too much thinking about way too many things and worrying and turning things over in our mind that our mind literally is just stuffed with thoughts and worries and concerns that there really isn't any space to find creativity or peace or to even think more openly about things because we're literally weighed down with these thoughts that just keep churning in our mind. It gets a bit like a ball of wool in there sometimes, I think, where everything is just tangled up. And then when problems do occur, it's really hard to see solutions because we're just too tied up in our heads. So it's really important to create space in your mind as well. And one of the ways that you can create space is by doing some mindfulness meditation or even any type of meditation or breathing exercise that works for you. One of the common fallacies about meditation is that it's something you have to do by sitting for an hour in total silence and not thinking, which is not the case at all. One easy thing that you can start to introduce into your life to start allowing that ball of wool to untangle in your head is to spend five minutes each morning just sitting and noticing your breath. It doesn't have to be for an extended period of time. If you find five minutes is easy for you, then you can start to extend it as you get more practice at it. But simply find that quiet spot. It might be sitting in your bed as soon as you wake up and spending five minutes focusing on the breath, allowing the thoughts to come into your mind and noticing them and then letting them go. So meditation isn't about not thinking. We can't not think. Only the most um, advanced masters of meditation and mindfulness uh, can really totally clear their mind. For most of us, it's about being able to notice your thought, being aware of it, and then letting it go, not allowing it to turn around. So each time you notice you're thinking about something, acknowledge it, let it go, return to noticing your breath, breathing in through your nose and out through your nose, just for that five minutes of allowing the mind to quieten. And it's amazing what that five minutes each day can do. So it's not important how long you do it, it is important that you do it consistently. So just every day, you might like to do it at night rather than in the morning if that works for you. Find a time that you know that you can commit to and you know that you'll have that space and time to sit for five minutes, noticing your breath, noticing the thoughts that come and allowing them to go. So let me know how you go with that. If you'd like any more specific help with your mindfulness practice or trying to sort out that tangled web of anxiety and worry and thoughts, go to my website at happyhealthygroovy.com.au or you can send me an email at kim at happyhealthygroovy.com.au and um, we can have a discussion and I can give you some more personalized tips on how you can start to create a little bit more space in your mind so that those challenges that seem insurmountable are something that you can deal with easily and without the stress and worry. So I hope that was helpful and I'll talk to you later. Bye.